already seen how it's working inside the process transaction. Let's quickly replace the values in this particular process with the original flow. The XAML is update data that we had. This is the thing that we have to replace it with. If I just go to this, there are some hard-coded values. This has to be replaced with the dynamic values that can be taken from data table that we have and can enter into that particular website. Okay, for that what I have to be doing is I have to get this particular transaction item available here into update data. Let's create a transaction item here in transaction item. The type of this will be data row. So in transaction data dot first name dot to string. Oh, there is an error here. Okay, to string. Similarly, we have to do it to all these things available. I'm opening this and let me copy the column names from here because we might end up making some mistakes if we try to enter them manually. Here it's in item last name to string. Similarly, we have to do it for all these things. Just to save your time, I have done it. Okay, as you can see, I have done it for company name, role in the company, address, email, and phone number. And there is a submit over here. If I just go back to this, there are some message boxes that we have kept. We can remove them as we have already assigned those values and see. We have to pass in transaction item to this so that it will be available in our this particular flow that is update data. So once that is done and we uh, know how it works internally, so it will try to go to each and every activity that's inside it. Okay, and then it will come back. If there is no error, it will go to this and it will increment one, 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 and so. Okay, just to show you what's happening inside this, I can go through debugging, but I think you can try it out. I'll try to run it once. Okay, fine, just uh, let me take you through that. That might give you good confidence. I'm closing this. Don't save. I'm deleting this file. Okay, let me run it once. Fine, it's launching the website. It's closing the pop-up. It has clicked on start. Here is the input that we have. Role in the company, type into role in the company solution, colon doesn't belong to it. Okay, so there is an extra space over here. These are a few things that we have to keep in mind while taking the inputs from the column. Okay, to ignore that, you can just copy paste them instead of manually typing it. I have manually typed it, so there was an error right here. And this is something that you have to keep in mind for the last name that we get from the RBA challenge, there will be a space. Please do remember that, okay? I'm closing this. Okay, this time, let's debug it once again. 
we have to delete this file so that will not get in pop up saying there is a file already existing debug Okay, fine, this was the input to us. So this time, it's the data of Smith. It has clicked on that. This time, it's the data of Jane. Albert. Michael. So we are at the fourth row. There's the fifth record. This was the sixth one. This seventh. So you can see how it's the mechanism is working with RE framework. We are about to end. This was the tenth one. And you can see the process was ended. I haven't done anything. If I just go to output thing, you will see what has happened is RPA challenge has started. It has killed the processes and opened the applications. It has launched the website. It has downloaded the input file. It has started the challenge. It has taken the first one, second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row and so on. It has come to 10th and finished due to no more transactions data available. So this is what has happened over here. So as soon as in this particular file, if I just go to the XAML, you can see if the transaction number is more than this, it will go to the right side and in that case, the transaction item will be set to nothing because there is no data in it as we can see if there is no data it will come to end so that is what has happened there was no data after we have reached 10 records so it has come to end data and it has closed it has terminated so that was about the RE framework and this is how we can use RE framework to implement any project or any process that we want to implement in UiPath.